So here's the thing, outdoor security cameras haven't really been on my radar, partly because of where I live. Like violent crime and robberies are at 0% guys. Yes, zero. So we really don't have a need for cameras except maybe to, I don't know, catch Bigfoot in our backyard or the occasional stray moose and all that. And secondly, and this is being honest here, Security cameras are kind of dull, isn't it? I mean, who salivates over the latest security camera tech anyways? But since last year though, Eufy, that's been part of Anchor, has been testing the waters with cable-free, nearly self-sustaining solar-powered cameras. Now, I would dare say none of them have been perfect so far, but at least Eufy has been listening to its customer. And this right here is the SoloCam S340, the highest end and latest solar camera in their catalog with 360 degrees tracking, two lenses, full integration with Eufy's ecosystem, and yet only takes five minutes to install. Now, let's see if this camera is spicy or dicey. And I know that made absolutely no sense, but let's just go with it. So let's do it. The Eufy SoloCam S340 retails for 200 bucks and it comes in this colorway, which is black and white. I personally would like to see brands begin offering more colors or even like replaceable shells at the very least so owners have the option to match their cameras with their house exteriors, for example, or hide it better. Uh, front and center are two cameras, motion tracking uh, rated at 50 feet clarity. We'll see if that's true or not later on. And also night vision as usually powerful course for these kind of cameras. Uh, at the top here is the primary sensor. It's a 3K, 135 degrees field of view f1.6. Um, while the second one down here is a 2K telescopic capable of eight times uh, hybrid zoom. And both of these, as you can see, are housed in a gimbal that allows for uh, 70 degrees of tilt and 360 degrees of panning, which is really nice to see. Of course, the thing that attracts me the most to this unit is renewable energy. You never have to use power with the solar panel right here. This thing installs either two ways, on top of your uh, camera like so, or there's a long run of cable, and I'll show you what's included in the box in a second. You can run this further away to maximize the sun uh, draw if you like. Now, in terms of uh, charging capability, the company says this thing can do 800 to 1200 milliamp hours per day on a nice sunny day. And yeah, we'll see how true that is. And also right now in winter in Maine, you know, it's mostly cloudy and supposedly if there's no charging, this thing can last on three month, for three months standalone. And again, we'll find out if that's true or not because according to the company, the power drawer is around 200 milliamp hours max. Yeah, we'll test that out in a second. Internally, the storage, by the way, on this thing is eight gigabytes. Uh, and if you want to extend it, uh, there's also the home base 380 server that you can pair this with and get tons of more tons more space to store your important clips and such like that without needing to back it up to the cloud. Now inside the box, so okay, the back of the panel here, you get the mounting point and then you got the power cable, USB-C, thank goodness. And then you see there is, uh, I hope it focuses, a waterproof grommet right there and it plugs into the back of the unit. And there's the sync button right there. And this is the mounting point for the mounting bracket, which is right in here. They say the installation is around five minutes. So yeah, I believe it because based on like the S120 that I installed and all that, it's really simple and fast. You just find a good mounting spot and I'll show you how it's done later on. Um, just upgrade your screws, guys. These screws are the cheapest that you can find. They strip really easily, especially if you have really like good a screw bit or something. These are gonna wear first. Uh, the cable that I give you to extend it is around 10 meters, uh, 10 feet long, three meters. So it's nice and uh, generous. And here you are, there's USB-C connector right there. Come on, focus. And it's waterproof. What else? You have USB-C charging for if you wanna charge it independently in the house, if you have to. On the gimbal, besides the cameras, haven't pointed this out yet, is the 100 lumen spotlight and diagonally across is the single motion sensor. Right now it's covered by a protective sheet. And up here is the speaker for two-way communication if you need to, and then there's the status light so people or yourself can see whether this is operational or not. If you would like to learn more about Eufy's security app, which is the companion app to the 340, I did a more in-depth look at it in the Eufy Cam 3 review. The link should be popping up right about now. 
right here. Aside from tweaks and improvements, much of the core experience hasn't changed, which is why I'm not doing a new video. But one thing I would like to see is Eufy strengthening the search capabilities some more, especially with all the talk about AI integration and all that. Like, even though the system can identify faces, like for each person in my family, for example, there's no way to filter your search results for faces. You can define the result for human, but that's about it. Another thing about using filter tags is that they aren't clearly displayed in calendar view. For instance, if I'm looking for videos tagged as favorites, the app does display days with captured clips signified by dots that you can see right here, but the dots themselves don't mean there are favorite clips in there. The calendar should really be displaying content based on what filter I use on a global level. On the surface, 2K versus 3K might not seem like a huge difference, but it does guys, especially for discerning things like license plate details from a distance. And I say that because if you remember the 2K equipped S120, the picture was good, but it didn't exactly blow me away. Overprocessing and smudging were the order of the day for that device at maximum zoom. Not only is the resolution better here, obviously for you know the specs and all that, but colors are more vibrant and the image processing also seems to be less intrusive. Even night vision is clean enough to make out letters from a distance, which is awesome. Now all said though, next generation better have 4K and smoother zoom. And I'll get to that in a few. Man, installation is fast and simple. It took me probably like, what, six minutes from start to finish. Granted, this thing faces as it is right now, faces the morning to noon sun, so it was an easy install. I just had to put the solar panel on top of the camera. Uh, if you're separating the panel somewhere else at maybe four to five minutes, and then another five to six minutes for pairing with the app. A couple more notes. If you need full 360 coverage, obviously don't mount this with something against the camera back. And have I also already said how awesome it is not to have to run power cables all over the place? So you can see I added the uh, attachment for the solar panel at the top of the camera. This is how you get it in there. We have two attached screws. You pop this out actually and then attach it to the body. Pop this in, screw this in nice and tight like so. Easy peasy. Same thing. This attaches, geez, <laughs> this attaches to the wall too if you want to move the panel somewhere else. This same thing is the one you use to uh, install it wherever you want it to be. But since, as you can see, the sun is over there and the camera is pointing this way, this is like perfect uh, sunlight catching. This is a sun perfect sunlight catching location, I'll tell you what. And then this is the waterproof uh, USB-C. So nice to see USB-C nowadays. So uh, I hope this keeps water out really. Because, yeah, it seems kind of exposed to me. We'll find out in the long run. So I already have the camera, the camera is already running. Um, and here's the attachment, the way I have it. It has a little brace at the bottom here. And then we just slot it in like so. This took like two seconds. <laughs> and I think we have it on and then I just have to tilt it this way for sun capture. And there you go, there's the camera all set up. And see it's tracking my head, supposedly. Hello. Maybe it still doesn't recognize me yet. The AI uh, tracker needs to be trained for faces. And there you go. This is nice. You could just adjust it the way you want it to. This is optimum for me because the sunlight tracks from here to there. And this should get enough juice throughout the day to charge it. Looks good. The three time zoom function really needs to be better implemented somehow in my opinion because as it is what we get is only either one time zoom or three time zoom and all the latter does is zoom in dead center on the image basically cropping out the outer corners by quite a margin. For those with larger properties and need to view something further back in the picture this kind of zoom behavior is pointless and very annoying. So what would be nice to see is the app allowing users to maybe double tap the screen where they want to zoom in at, like on phone cameras. So Yuffie, are you listening? There are a couple of reasons the 340 isn't a hardcore security camera, even if it was sold as such. 
First, its 360 coverage comes with a huge asterisk, guys. What Yuffie didn't tell me or mention the marketing was that the gimbal only spins in halvesies, not foolsies. So if you thought you could pan a complete 360 like R2-D2 can, think again, guys, because it stops around 170 degrees. And to continue viewing, you have to waste time panning all the way back the other direction. What the heck is this? A rubbernecking camera? The second reason is the single motion sensor, which means the 340 has a severe blind spot on the sides and the rear. A thief could potentially sneak around the side and behind it without ever being spotted. See, I did say that none of these cameras are perfect, but we're definitely getting there, guys. But I'll tell you what, I love the concept of exterior cameras powered by the sun with no ugly cables or giant solar panels ruining the lines of your house. The Solcam S340 is a solid piece of kit. It's the sum of its parts, guys, from the build quality, the really efficient and fast charging through the solar panel, the easy to use software and also good optics, there's enough going for it. But that being said, if Yuffie can give me a full 360 gimbal with faster motor and a more robust zoom, I'll give it the TNTT seal of approval. Well, that's all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And the fact that you're here really means a lot to me. Now, if you like to see this channel grow, this is a spin-off from my other channel, Gear Up. And if you like to see it grow and you'd like to see more content like this, if you like more brands to send me stuff, the only way you can do that is showing your support. Thumbs up, subscribe, and reshare the heck out of this with your friends. Evangelize the heck out of it. Yes. Thank you so much again for being here, guys, and I'll see you next time. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world, because guess what? If you haven't seen the news, the world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. Peace out. God bless. Love you guys.